What is up, you guys? It's your girl Kayla, aka Pineapple Mommy, and we are back with yet another video. Before we even get into this video, you already know if you are new here or if you are returning, welcome. I appreciate every single one of you that watches these videos, you like them, you comment on them, you ask me questions, you give advice, and I appreciate every single one of you guys. If you have not already, though, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you are notified each week when I upload so you can keep track of progress and get any advice that you need or just join the community and just share information, y'all. That's, that's all we're asking. That's all we're doing here. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> so as you already know, my one week out of two week wait. I tested and it came back negative. I did have one that had a very faint positive, uh, but every test after that was definitely negative. So eventually I stopped testing. I stopped testing like maybe around like second day 10. I say stop testing. I've only taken maybe two or three tests, which on one hand you might say only, that's a lot or you know, whatever, only. Um, because once it got closer to that, I was really starting to psych myself out and worry about getting another negative test. Um, and then y'all know I use my flow app. I track my cycles and my flow app is saying that you might be late this month. And so I'm like, okay, I'm never late though. Like ever since I've been off of my birth control, I have not missed a period. I've not been late for a period. I may have been early, but never late. In fact, my cycles are 28 day cycles. So not even early, just a couple of cysts. So that was interesting. That was, you know, one portion. So we got through it. And I haven't noticed a lot of other symptoms. Like my CM is still that of what you would expect when ovulating. So that is a good sign and good indicator for pregnancy, especially since once you get closer to your actual period, it does change, or at least mine changes noticeably. And it's very much, you would think I'm about to ovulate with the way everything looks. And uh, what else is going on? My fatigue is still happening. I'm still sleepy. Uh, it's been less these past two days, though, thankfully, uh, because I have a lot of work that I've been getting done. And thankfully, you know, I've been able to get it done. But that fatigue was kicking my butt. Like, all I wanted to do is nap. There was a day where I had the day off, thankfully, and I think I napped for like a good five hours. I was tired. So yeah, those are the only two symptoms thus far that I've noticed. Uh, thankfully, I have been extremely busy these past two weeks with a lot of like personal crises going on that I've thankfully been able to solve. Uh, but it did distract me during this two week wait. I can't imagine what it would be like if I wasn't busy from sun up to sun down every day, cause then I would really have obsessed over every little thing. Um, I'm also very in tune with my body, so I can't help but notice when something's off. So I know that I really would have been checking myself and saying, you know, what's going on here? So that's something that I have been grateful for. As y'all know, I am officially through the two week wait, but I, um, I did test, I did test on my cycle day 14, which was yesterday and it came back negative, but I'm also, as of yesterday, I was also three days late for my period. So it could be that, um, I'm pregnant and I just don't have enough HCG hormone built up in me to where it's showing because everyone's levels differ. Um, and then it could be that I just had my first late period in who knows how long. So 
I'm trying to stay patient. I'm trying to wait. It was a huge bummer. Uh, my flow app did say that I would start my period today, which is, you know, four days later. Uh, but I haven't. I have some pressure. So I don't know if that pressure is from pregnancy or if it's from, you know, my period. Usually I have like more pain than this. So I don't know. I do not know. Uh, basically, it's just kind of like the waiting game. Uh, tomorrow will be that fifth day. And I think that's technically the day when you can say like you've missed your period. I don't know. So my flow app is already saying you should test for pregnancy in the next few days. Um, so that was already, you know, the plan testing again on Saturday if my period does not come and prayerfully that test comes back positive. Um, but if not, and I still don't get my period, I'll go ahead and contact my OBGYN or my midwife, whoever can do it earliest and um, schedule a blood test to see what's going on and to see if I'm pregnant or not. And yeah, so that is that. My camp is very, very excited. Everybody is just lifting me up right now and everybody's fingers are crossed and we are just hoping for the best. Uh, but you know, my plan B is if it does not work, I will just call the sperm bank and let them know so I can have another vial ready um, in about two weeks. That's when I would be ovulating again. Um, so just go ahead and move forward as planned. Uh, so that is all I have for you guys right now. I'm sorry. I wish I could be able to tell you for sure I'm pregnant or I'm not pregnant. Um, but just like everything else surrounding me trying to conceive, uh, nothing has come easy. And there's always some sort of hiccup going on. But it all works out in the end. So I guess this is just another hiccup. We're not going to have a clear test yet. Um, so yeah, that is where we're at, you guys. I will be back to my regularly programmed videos next week. Um, and I will also start out next week's video with yes or no, am I pregnant? So you guys don't keep waiting on that. And... Yeah, we'll just take it from there. If y'all have any advice, any suggestions, or words of encouragement, or anything to add, please put them in the comment box down below, or let me know where you're at in your journey. I know a few of you guys had your transfers, um, I believe a couple months ago, and IUIs a couple months ago. Um, so I'd love to hear from you, see how you are doing, and if you haven't commented before and you just want to share where you're at in your journey, let me know as well. I would love to hear it. Even if you haven't even started your journey, you're just starting to do research. I would love to hear it. I will see you guys next week.